in this video, we're going to share some fun stories about some special individuals. Did you know that March 13th is K-9 Veterans Day? We celebrate veterans who have served our country on November 11th, so why not celebrate the four-legged furry animals that have um, helped serve our country? K-9 Veterans Day um, was created on, the, on this day in 1942 by the U.S. K-9 Corps. So let me introduce you to some special K-9 heroes. Let me introduce you to Sally Ann Jarrett, a female pit bull terrier, or possibly a Staffordshire bull terrier. Sally Ann served as a mascot of the 11th Pennsylvania Infantry during the American Civil War. She got her name from the infantry's commander, Fayon Jarrett and Sally Ann, a young woman who stopped to chat with the soldiers while they pr practiced their drills in Philadelphia. Sally Ann the dog was given to the raiment as a puppy by a civilian and raised by the soldiers, marching alongside them and boasting morale with her cheerful antics. Sally Ann became separated from her raiment on the first day of the famous Battle of Gettysburg on July 1st, 1963. She was found several days later guarding her wounded and dead fellow soldiers. Sadly, Sally Ann was shot and killed at the Battle of Hatcher's Run on February 1865. When the, when the surviving veterans of the 11th Pennsylvania gathered in 1890 to dedicate a monument in honor of their fallen fellow soldiers, they made sure to include a bronze depiction of Sally Ann patiently keeping watch as she had so bravely during the war. This is Sergeant Stubby, a mixed breed dog with a stubby tail, possibly a bull terrier or Boston terrier mix. He started out as a stray but hung around a group of soldiers while they were training in New Haven, Connecticut. He eventually became the most famous canine hero of World War I. He served in 17 battles in France alongside his best friend, Private J. Robert Conroe, in the 102nd Inf Infantry, 26th Yankee Division. The fearless pup performed a number of vital roles including alerting troops to incoming gas attacks, catching German spies, locating missing soldiers in between the trenches, and boasting morale. When the war ended, Sergeant Stubby received a medal from General John J. Pershing, a commander of the American forces in Europe, who saluted the dog's heroism of highest caliber and bravery under fire. The famous hero dog has led parades, met three presidents, and became the mascot of Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. Meet Nemo, a German shepherd dog, alongside his handler, Airman Second Class Robert Thorberg, in 1966, served in Vietnam fighting. Both sustained bullet wounds. Nemo in his muzzle um, and his handler Thorberg in his shoulder. Nemo was strong and courageous that he charged four gunmen, giving Thorberg much needed time to call for reinforcement. Both survived. Nemo was sent back to San Antonio, Texas to the base where he was trained and given much recovery care from veterinarians on the base. Unfortunately, his right, ear, right eye had to be removed. Nemo was 
one of the 200 out of 4,000 dogs who served in Vietnam that was able to return home. Unfortunately, the other thousands um, did not return and were euthanized or left in Vietnam despite the protest of their handlers. Handlers and other veterans continue to fight for the rights of war dogs, pushing for legislation to create a program for their adoption. President Clinton signed that legislation in law in 2000, ensuring that dogs now serving in the U.S. military will have a home when they have finished their battlefield jobs. Here is a picture of Corporal Corey Dwayne Wayne, a 20-year-old, with his canine comrade, a yellow lab named Cooper. Both were a team serving in Iraq, trying to find firearm, firearms, ammunition, and explosives. While on patrol in 2007, Wayne and Cooper unfortunately were care, killed by improvised explosive devices. But the remains are buried together in Rain's hometown of Dallas, Oregon. In author Maria Goodavage's book, Top Dog, we learn about Wayne's and Cooper. In her book, she says that Wayne's always said Cooper was his son and planned on adopting him after they completed their service. Recently, Rains's dad, Kevin, started adopting dogs, Yellow Labs, to remind him of his son and his dog. One of these dogs had a litter which he deemed Corey Rain and Cooper's memorial dogs. Good of age, adopted one of the puppies named Gus and another, Murray, went home with the family of Luca, a retired military working dog who served with Rain and Cooper in Iraq. This cute Yorkshire Terrier is named Smokey, and he was found in New Guinea in the New Guinea jungle by an American soldier during World War II. Later, Smokey was sold to another soldier, Corporal William A. Wyan from Cleveland, Ohio. Wyan and Smokey stayed together for the next two years of the war. Wyan credits Smokey for saving his life by guiding him away from incoming fire on a transport ship. Smokey has survived the heat, limited food rations, typhoons, air raids, combat missions, and even a 30-foot parachute jump where she had her own special parachute. Smokey is also well-known for the for being the first therapy dog, as she spent many hours both during the war and back home visiting veterans and entertaining them with the varied collections of tricks that she, she was taught by Ryan. After the war, Smokey and Ryan made numerous TV appearances together, performing tricks and telling their amazing story. Smokey lived in Cleveland with Ryan and his family until her death in 1957 at age 14. In 2005, on Veterans Day, a memorial for Smokey was unveiled by, in the Rocky Reservation of the Cleveland Metro Parks in Lakewood, Ohio. The statue is a depiction of the above picture of Smokey sitting in a combat helmet showing off her cute smile. The following are the sources where I received the story shared in this video, as well as where you can read more inspiring stories of canines and other heroic dogs and animals.